Hi and welcome to Essential Lightroom. In this video I want to show you and take you through and give you a demonstration of the latest preset pack for Lightroom we've just released. And this is the Brown and Aqua preset pack. As with all the preset packs, I'm going to take you through and show you how you can use the base presets and the modifiers to get an almost unlimited range of different effects. So let's take a look at how we can use those in conjunction with this image and a couple of other sample images right now. So the new Brown and Aqua preset pack for Lightroom ships with 17 original presets. Now these are broken down into two different varieties. We've got the base preset and we've got the modifier presets. So if we look on the left hand side in the presets panel, you'll see that anything that's indented with a period is a modifier. And that'll modify or adjust the way that the base effect, such as the Aqua Punch, affect the image that you're working with. So let's use this image as an example. It's a great one for this particular preset. Anywhere you've got greens and blues, it's going to really give you a great looking effect. So let's take a look. We've got Aqua Punch Basic, Brown and Aqua. We've got Basic De Detail Enhancer, Desaturated Glow, and a couple of others. So let's take a look at some of these and see what they do. The Aqua Punch, as its name suggests, is going to give you that brown and aqua effect. So you can see the sky now shifts over to the aqua side of things. And anything that's green will adjust itself and give it a more browny kind of tint. So like I say, this is a perfect candidate for this particular type of effect. It also works really, really well if you're dealing with sunsets or anything with a nice warm glow. Really does give a nice effect to that. And we'll take a look in a moment at another image. And I'll show you how we can really make that and enhance it. So as you can see, we can go through and we can take a look at any of these presets. We can try them out. You can see I just reset in between each one. So the Super Enhancer, as you can see, will really give you a huge amount of punch to your image. As with all of our presets and our modifiers, you can go in and you can tweak and adjust. And we'd recommend that because every image you're working on has its own particular characteristics. So although the presets are great starting points, you can still adjust and get even better results just by simply tweaking these starting points. So, we've applied our base preset, we're quite happy with that, but now we want to go through and modify it and create one of thousands of different options we've got available. So let's just say we wanted to crush the tones in there, we like it, but it's a bit too contrasty, we want to get that nice Instagram style where they crush the blacks. Well, we can do that, one click, and you can see we now crush those blacks down and we give it a much more crushed tone in sort of layout. If we want to, we can come in and we can change any of those. So we might say we want to boost the mid-tones to give it some real punch. And you can see that kind of darkens the image down and gives it a really punchy, contrasty effect. If we think that's really nice, but it's looking a little warm, well, we could use one of the cool toners and we can adjust the overall color balance. You can see now the whites in the sky, in the clouds and so on, they take on a slightly cooler tone, more blue we want to enhance that even more, we can choose the Cool Toner 2. So we've got a range of different options there. So let's just reset that. Let's choose a different image and see what we can do with the different image. So let's just jump back over and we're going to choose this one of a sort of sunset scene. So let's develop that. So you can see already looks quite nice but could do with some enhancing. So let's just say we wanted to try something along the lines of the desaturated glow. You can see that desaturates the colors and swaps them over and makes them slightly different. If we wanted to, let's just undo that a second. We can easily go in and we can start adjusting these. So they say basic detail enhancer. You can see that now really gives it a nice sort of color effect to it. Again, we could say, well, let's crush those shadows. So we crush those down. Gives us a really nice looking effect. If we want to go in and adjust anything, we can easily come in and tweak that on an image by image basis. So we might say we want to make this a little warmer where we can adjust the temperature in there quite easily. We're going to adjust the contrast, we can pull that down. You know, we can go through and we can tweak and enhance the base presets that we have. So for an image like this, there's a fantastic combination that we've come up with with the Brown Aqua Toolkit. I just want to show you that. What we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go to the Basic Detail Enhancer to give it a nice warmth, give it a nice crushed black look to it. Next up, we're going to come up to the Mid-Tone Darkness. I'm going to add that, darkens the image down, gives it a bit more contrast. And then finally, we're going to come to the Warm Toner 2. And that gives it a nice summer kind of glow. So if you take a look at that, that gives it a really nice looking effect. Three clicks and we've taken an image from looking like this to looking like this. Fantastic enhancement straight away. So let's take a look at another example. Let's just jump back over and let's take a look at this one. This beach photograph, which you wouldn't think is going to be a good example for this, but it works really, really well. So for our base preset, we're going to use the Super Enhancer. Click on that and you can see that shifts the colors over. Now we've got a nice kind of aqua color in the sky. It changes the bikini color. The beach takes on a nice kind of enhanced kind of detail, a bit more contrast in there. 
Next up, we're going to use the warm tone it again. Give it just a little bit more warmth in this. We're going to click on that. Gives it a nice kind of summer evening feel. It gives that warm afterglow kind of effect to it. And finally, we're going to come up. We're going to choose the red shadow booster. Give it a click on there. And we've got a really nice looking summer sunset kind of image. So again, this is our starting point. This is what we've ended up with, again, with three simple clicks. If I want to go through and make any more adjustments, I can do that. I can choose any of the modifiers, any of the options inside Lightroom itself, and I can tweak and enhance anything we've covered. And there we go. That's going to kind of wrap up what I wanted to show you in this video. It gives you a good example of what can be achieved with the Brown and Aqua Toolkit that we've just released. If you'd like to grab this, the link is in the description below. Your support is much appreciated. If you purchase at the moment, the time of release, there's a 20% discount, so you get an even more added benefit for these thousands of combinations you can use. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you enjoy the preset pack if you purchase it. Don't forget, we've got a ton of free presets available on the Essential Lightroom website, along all of our commercial preset packs that you can pick up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add on this channel every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, please pop those in the comments section below. And if you've picked up this preset pack or any of our other preset packs, first of all, thank you very much for your support. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care.